Welcome to this short presentation of Segal's new Well Data Viewer tool for Vitrell. The Well Data Viewer is a tool in the Blue Back Toolbox suite of tools for Vitrell. The Well Data Viewer is a tool that provides easy access to Well Data through a common user interface where the Well Data is organized in specific tabular format. The user selects a well from the well list and then gets easy access to the data by browsing through the different data tabs. The data tabs that are available in this first release of the Well Data Viewer are Well Header Data Tab, Deviation Data Tab, Time Depth Relation Data Tab, Well Logs Tab, Global Well Logs Tab, Well Tops Data Tab, and a Production Data Tab. Let's have a look at what it looks like in Petrel. So the user can open the Well Data Viewer by right-clicking on the Wells folder in Petrel or a Wells subfolder in Petrel. So right-click and go down to Well Data Viewer. The first time you open the Well Data Viewer with a project of around 4,000 wells, as in this case, it takes a little while to open because the tool reads a little bit of information into memory. Here you see the user interface with the well list over here to the left where you have all the wells in the project. You see the total well count down here, 4,259. In the well list you have the wells organized by name, by UWI and by symbol and color. You can sort each of these colum columns and the symbols column can be sorted by symbol or by color. And then I can go back to the original order by doing this little trick. And then the user is going in and activates a well. So you see that the active well has bold and orange font and the active well is also listed up here in the top. If the active well is not visible in the list you can use this little link that will scroll to the active well in the well list. Here you see the different data tabs so we have the header tab, deviation tab, time depth relationship tab, well logs tab, global logs tab, well tops tab and production data tab. In the well header we have extracted information from the well setting so you recognize this information from the well settings you can actually open the well settings for the active well by hitting this button so you can see this information we have extracted plus a few well attributes like the operator the total depth of the well spot date and the comments section moving on to the deviation tab here we get the deviation survey displayed if the well has more than one deviation survey it will display the primary deviation survey but you can easily change to secondary deviation surveys. For deviated wells or horizontal wells let me just bring up an example here. For horizontal wells you get a calculation of the horizontal length uh, down here and you can generate the heel, midpoint and toe point sets using this button here. Now let's go back to my well 65. Here we go. And then we move on to the time depth relationship tab. So what this tab is doing is that it tries to identify the active one-way time log that has been generated from the TDR settings that you chose for your wells in standard patrol. <clears throat> so in this case it's identifying the one-way time log and then it looks into the history of this log and identifies the source data for this time depth relationship and in this case that is a checksum set and in this tab we are extracting the check shot spreadsheets with the times, the depths and the average velocity and interval velocity and we're also displaying the tracks of the average velocity, interval velocity and one way time. I can display well tops in this uh, in 
these tracks as well. If the well has other TDR data available, you can change to this. So in this case, we also have some time depth relationship information from well tops. And in this case, again, we're displaying the spreadsheet, but Petrel does not give you the velocities. So we are calculating those for you. So we're calculating the average and interval velocity so that we can display those in the tracks as well. And there's also an example from uh, a two-way time log. There's a button here that can highlight all the wells that has check shots in them. So this highlighting operation highlighted all the wells with check shots and down here you can see that 227 wells out of the 4000 and something wells has check shots in them. I go to the well locks tab and now we're displaying all the well logs that are present in the well 65 here so I can click on one of them and I get a preview a tracks preview and again I can display well tops if I want to and I can easily change between the locks here and display those in the tracks and again we have a button that can highlight all the wells that has the selected log so in this case 401 wells has the quick gamma ray 2 log if I want to make a quick comparison of this selected log between a set of, of wells I can highlight them and hit this compare and that would bring up a simple well logs panel with the selected logs in the selected wells let's move on to the global well logs tab so this tab is looking at the data from a global well logs perspective I can calculate how many wells has the individual global well log this calculation takes a little while that is why we made it a button so now it is calculating away so now it's done the calculation we have the global well log name we got the global well log template got the well count per global well log, min, max, deviation, and this is just a graphical representation of the well count. I can sort on the global log's name, I can sort on the template. I like this sorting on template because then I get all my uh, types of logs listed uh, together. And what we can do with this tool is that we can go in, for example, and highlight a set of logs. So here we have different gamma ray logs let's highlight these three and say highlight all the wells that has all these three logs in them and now we've done that that is 377 wells out of the 4000 something wells now this highlighted these set of highlighted wells are spread all over the list so I can hit this button here and that will bring all the highlighted wells to the top of the list I can also do an OR this operation will highlight any well that has any of these three logs present. And now you can see that 1885 wells has either one of these logs. Let's move on to the well tops tab. So here for the active well you get all the well top sets that are present in this well you get the well top spreadsheet and you get the zone spreadsheet for each of uh, the well top sets again you can highlight a well top and highlight all the wells that has this well top pr present in the production data tab you see now I <clears throat> the production data tab is empty that means that the active well does not have any production data I can highlight all the wells that has production data in them that is 17 I can bring them to the top of the list like this and I can choose one of them so this tab is looking for the production observed data if you have more than one observed data set for the well you can choose which one you want to look at here 
we are extracting all the information from the observed data set spreadsheet but in the plots over here we're only extracting the gas oil and water production so here you get the instantaneous daily production of gas oil and water and down here you get the cumulative production we can also do a, a simple comparison between wells let me highlight a set of wells hit the compare button type in the oil equivalent factor show values and here you see the cumulative oil gas and water production per well in a simple comparison you saw that we did some kind of filtering based on features in some of the tabs but we also have a more detailed filter tab this filter tab allows you to filter on well attributes so here you get the uh, filter with all the attributes and columns <clears throat> so I can filter on name, UWI, symbol, operator, spot date, if it has check shots or not, inclination and so on. I can also filter within polygons. So let's just try and filter on all horizontal wells. So I go in here and set a custom filter, inclination greater than 80 degrees. That gives me 258 wells and then let's look at the horizontal wells for a specific operator so we'll take spectra E and P and then now we've reduced the number of wells to 13 I hit OK and you see that the well list in the well data viewer is now reduced to these 13 wells I can save these 13 wells as a well subset so I'll go in here and call it Spectra horizontal wells and hit OK. Let's look, close this. <coughs> and the well subsets are saved in a folder under the well folder. And I can go in, right click, and say display all the wells in the active window. So here you have the 13 spectra horizontal wells. I can right click, convert to points that lets you generate a point set at either of these <coughs> places in the well that is just a regular patrol point set it opens up the settings immediately so that we can toggle on the label and we can go to the well point set and toggle on the well subset name so that gives you like an alternative way of labeling your well tops this was a very fast run through of the Well Data Viewer. If you have any more questions about the Well Data Viewer, please contact your local Segal representative. Thank you very much.